Hey everybody, welcome to TV Chef Fantasy League, the podcast that has yet to wear a cool hat. I'm your host and commissioner. I'm sorry. I wrote that line earlier today before you walked in. <laughs> and then wow. I forgot about Still it until looking. just now. And I was but, like, But I get the reference. It's all good. Because it really, yeah, I think we know what we're referencing. I yeah, know yeah. We're, we're going sorry. off the rails this early. but <laughs> Right off the bat. Right off the bat. Didn't but even get he, our names out. As soon as Dylan popped in that hat, I was like, oh, he's just trying stuff out. He's just trying different. Hats. Not even Dylan. To, to, to me, this week the the big hat story is Nelly. Well, with her that, beret. Oh, I mean, or as they said Noel, on the show, beret. No, hit like the 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 just a bullseye right out the gate. That there was nothing more that needs to be said. Was when <laughs> was like you look like a guess who yes. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like a perfect yeah, assessment. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's is she it. wearing pearls? <laughs> Does she have a hat on? <laughs> Very good cartoonish kind of, you know, yeah. general She also, outfit. one of her challenges, like, she finished and then put her sunglasses on and then, like, sat. Oh, my God. Like a cat. Like, she like, might as waiting. well have had a cigarette. Do you know what I mean? Perfect. Yeah. She spiritually had a cigarette. I wonder if y'all had the same thought because me and him had it, like, it came out of her mouth and I did that thing we do as couples when we scream when they say the <laughs> thing that you're saying, sure. thinking. Yeah. And I was like, I think. Her and Noel are going to be friends after the show. I hope so. Yeah. They have yeah. really good chemistry, yeah. and if they don't like co-host some sort of recap spinoff thing, I'm hoping that in two days we're going to see Nelly and Old Greg uh, <laughs> as a, as a costume. Oh man, that would be so good. That's such a good costume. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's sort of a deep cut, but have some Baileys out of a boot. <laughs> <laughs> old Greg on it on his own already is such a deep cut. Yeah. Any Gen Z people who are listening, or even older than us, any like yeah. Gen X people who are listening, no idea what we're talking about. That is strictly for us, you know? Yeah, I rewatched Wait, it I don't today. Know. I don't you know, know old I Greg? Know. No, I don't Did know. Did you old see Greg. the Mighty Explain. Boosh at all? No. So the Mighty Boosh was a sketch show and Noel feeling was a part oh, of it. Oh, I see, okay. okay. And, that um, was the connection. And yes. he plays a character, old Greg, that is a fish person? I I yeah, just always in a swamp, it's indeterminate what he is. But I feel like it was like freshman, sophomore year of college that was just like that was one of the like old that was internet a, memes. That yes, was like oh. that was one of the point points in history where there were only like six YouTube videos oh, that sure, were sure. popular and that was one of them. And I missed it. You missed yeah, it. Yeah, I only knew the great. big five. <laughs> uh, anyway, hi, I'm your host, Commissioner Mike Cavlon. <laughs> With me are my co-hosts here, Kato and Ify Wadiwe. Um, okay, let's do a little bit of recap on last week. Um, a bunch of people emailed, and I haven't read them. Sorry, it was a busy week. But <laughs> what I, I did catch someone pointing out that last week, uh, Ilian cried and, because, you know, Allison gave her the hug. We had that whole moment. I did not count the points for crying, and that was my bad. So that is a half point there. We'll add that retroactively right. for this week. Uh, what I want to talk about this week is that Eater wrote this article entitled, The Internet Has Developed a Collective Crush mm. on This Great British Bake Off Contestant with a Big Old Picture of Dylan right there. Yeah. Dylan I think is I saw the headline, yeah. Hot enough to have broken through mainstream now. This is like, yeah. this is Eater National. This is not eater.com slash LA oh, or whatever. This is just right. eater.com. And it's not Eater UK Baking Tent. No, city. this is American yeah. Eater. Amazing. Yeah, no, that is a, like, Dylan is just like, so handsome. It is it is great. And yeah. I think it really amplifies with how much of a dork he is. Like if he was just like a cool guy, yeah, like I it think, wouldn't be as hot. Yeah, mm, yeah. But he's say. just him just like he just like gets like how excited he is about the uh yes. thing. like when he uh won the technical yeah. and he's just like he's like speechless, stupefied, just like yeah. big goofy grin on his face. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing to see. Yeah, I'd guess him. <laughs> okay, so there's sometimes there's people hot that they're no, 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 he's 17 he's 17 he, oh no 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 how <laughs> oh, never mind never mind never okay, mind yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For the record. <laughs> I know I, I remember I had this one friend uh, who's an actor and I was drinking and we were like at an event and I was looking I was like yeah he's hot I think if I get drunk enough, I'll make it. I'm so terrified him. for how the story and, is going to end. <laughs> and then he like, where he's telling me the story, and he's like, "Yeah, straight dudes always want to like uh, see if they're gay by kissing me." I was like, "Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be that." <laughs> right, right. Those are <laughs> that's not how oh. I am. I'm nah, not nah, falling for that trap. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. specific. I don't. I don't yeah, I don't want to be a statistic. I want to be <laughs> a unique exp right. experience. Right. You want to be the love of their life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You want to be the one yeah, that got away. One, yeah, not the one that's like, this always happens because I'm this hot. 
Wow, what a weird hmm. station life to accept about yourself. <laughs> I am a human litmus test. Go yeah, ahead, yeah. step right up. Yeah, wow. yeah, go ahead. Give me a smooch. Give see what happens. Smooch. Yeah. But again, I do think Dylan like hasn't become aware of that until I guess maybe the his this debut, is bring him his international yeah, yeah. debut, right? Because oh, yeah. he's kind of the little brother nerd, yeah. falling off the chair and getting his water bottle. Yeah, yeah. And Beefing then on his skateboard. <laughs> right, yeah. and then now he's suddenly been, you know, he's he's like basically this is his coming out party to the world. Yeah, Which yeah. is, I'm ready I to think be the hot. right the right order of things because he has a good solid like moral foundation. Yeah. you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. And now people are sliding to his DMs left and right, and he's like. I want to wait for the right person. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. you know? good, good. I, I think that's true. Like, you have the people who kind of, like, were hot, you know, they're they're beautiful people, like, all growing up, and then they just kind of either turn to bad people or yeah, they yeah. crash out right. or they- They don't develop they hobbies. They realize that yeah, they've peaked yeah, yeah. and they're all this- They live in the bubble, the but hot then, people yeah. bubble. Yeah, but then you get, like, the, the people who, like, came into their hotness and just have a baseline foundation of, like, great personality. They're yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. weird. They're fun. Yeah. Because, like, that is, like, you know, when, like, because- Em is way pickier than me. Like, I, you know, it's like, but like. You like, like romantically? Romantically, And she yes. picked you? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah that, I think that every time. I think that every time. That's great. <laughs> but, you know, we're polyamorous. So, like, when we're talking about, like, other people, she's, she's always like, I want someone interesting. I want. Sure, and, like, yeah, yeah. Once you, like, kind of, like, date her. Like, I hit the point where I was, like, finally got where she what she's talking about because you have like a beautiful person and then you're talking to them yeah and you're like oh like you're you don't have there's to do, nothing there yeah you don't have to right. do legwork like they, didn't, they didn't have to for yeah. so long yeah because yeah. everyone's just gonna nod and like smile or talk at them if you're also a beautiful man right like, usually right. when you're dating you know femmes right. like a lot of times if you're hot you don't have to say anything because men talk mm. at you and then yeah, you choose yeah, yeah. whichever one is the least off-putting and uh <laughs> And and I feel like yeah I feel like when the the the, the je ne sais quoi that comes with coming into your hotness sure. you have like so many interesting things about you where it's like yeah I, I I'm also a welder you're like what yeah 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 amazing oh this was my philosophy I think with short men rebranded okay. as short kings these yeah. days um, that like you know and I'm short so everybody's tall so it doesn't really matter but um, <laughs> I felt like you know for short sometimes for short men they. Half, they feel like that is a detriment yeah. because yeah. everybody likes yeah, yeah. tall men. Which I think is uh, like pr- so then, as close as objectively true as it could be. You know yeah. what I mean? Sure, sure. Yes. And so then, you know, and even if they're very good looking people, like yeah, they exactly. don't, they still have to develop the the personality or yeah. the whatever else, right? Like, yes. like we're talking about. So, you know, I was always like, hey, you know, people should be looking at the short men. Yeah, because yeah, they have if, interests and hobbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, they are bad. Sometimes like they're bad. Guy, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy at the, the bagel, bagel shop. You're not I'm God, right, my father, or my boss. That's right. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, uh, I, I missed that guy. Thank God. <laughs> I think, um, did but, you miss all the memes? I missed, all the memes. I missed most of culture. Very but, offline from But that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too short to see it, honestly. <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Uh, no, the, I... I I uh, I could do a whole nother podcast on like Asian men in the dating world. Oh just because, man, yeah. Because like sure, that, sure. it's like American society has sort of that same bias they have against short men. You know, and you're just like, it doesn't matter how cool yeah. you are. And then what I've learned in watching a lot of Love Is Blind is that a lot of Asian men are also garbage on the inside. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, there have been a few Asian guys on that show, and they never make it through to the final story, which means like they're dating, and people are still like, even without seeing you, you're not a good person. <laughs> oh, no. Well, because it's like it's the thing, right, where you have the two go back, the two right. lanes, where sometimes like you get people who are jaded, and then they're just like, well, I'm coming in hot as yeah, a trash yeah. person, or you're like. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna be sucks. trash first, yeah, so that yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, reject yeah. me if I suck. <laughs> Good. All right. Great. Well, I'm solve, glad we solve dating. started with that. It's pastry week. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Speaking of Who sweeties. Uh, no, the they were setting the right tone because the show started on this weird talking pastry sketch that I didn't really like. I, the bits are already hit or miss on this show, and this one was very much a miss. So, who do you think comes up with those bits? Is, I've never looked at the credits. There has to be at least one staff writer, right? Yeah. yeah. Which I'm like, Noel's not there. looking at this and being like, no, thank let me you. get my boosh boys in here. Yeah, let exactly. me get my boosh boys Right, boosh if he comes from, yeah, yeah. St- uh, sketch world. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just like some associate producer who has to do like a lot of different things. And sure. they're like, wait, I, I didn't finish setting out the bowls. Now I got to write a sketch. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. 
Or it's a thing where they don't write it and they're like, hey, can you guys come up with something like right now while we're just setting up this shot? And they're like, what do we have? Right. Uh, pastry. It talks. Okay, we're done. Right. Perfect. I don't know. Done. Uh, unless you're the writer of this and you're listening and you're like, hey, in which case, we love your work. <laughs> Please come oh, wow, on the so show. convincing. <laughs> like, we oh, love your work. Park. We I'm an it. actor. I'm convincing. Yeah, um, yeah I said I, I've spent <laughs> that was good. Oh, all these episodes gassing up how uh, you're an audition star. <laughs> right, right. Self tapes here. Self, self it's, tape. It's rolling. Yeah, yeah, Sheriff. yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. It is pastry week. Are you guys pastry people? I'm a huge pastry person. Oh yeah, I, I ate a donut before I got here. Yeah, yeah. I had ap- not like apropos of nothing. Multiple conversations this week about pastries. Mm. Just lead up to this. I had a friend who was in New York. Texted me a contextless photo of the counter at Supermoon, and I already knew it was Supermoon Bakehouse, one of my wow. favorite bakeries in the country. Wow. She brought it back for me. It, they did not hold up well, but still yeah. tasty and delicious. Uh, talked to a person at a party who was like, I want to try all the croissants in L.A. I just rattled off a list for her. Wow. Uh, had a separate conversation with someone else about the the missing Milk Bar Thanksgiving croissant. I don't know if I've ever talked to you guys about this. No. Milk Bar, for a long time, had the Thanksgiving croissant, which was one of my favorite things any American company's ever made. Sure. And, like, r- roughly the same time I moved here, like, 2019, 2020, they kind of just stopped doing it. And every year, I hope it's going to come back, and it never has. Did it have, like, turkey and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, like, I a mean, cranberry? Well, that's stuffing what I was say. flavored Ooh. croissant with turkey and cranberry. Yeah. And well, that, what I was going to say is that is one of my favorite flavors, is when they went every, every around this year, when they do sandwich. Thanksgiving sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always, it is, like, really the fun. perfect journey yeah. of flavor yeah, yeah. so Agreed. i'm with you on it and i'm willing to try and start to make a stink about it and see if we can get like an online campaign i hope if you so. have a picture of it send it to me i'll, I'll, I'll do a whole petition. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. bring it back because it was it was worth it we should export that flavor yeah i feel like as an american flavor profile like other countries would appreciate a oh yeah turkey stuffing cranberry gravy situation yes Yes. <laughs> you look like you're going to disagree, Confirmed. and then you just landed on. No, yes. I'm I'm all in. <laughs> uh, okay, so the signature challenge this week is to make twelve frangipan tarts. Everyone agrees this isn't really enough time to uh, to make frangipan tarts. It was I didn't write down two hours, two and a half hours. Everyone was struggling for time. That's that's where we came down. Yeah. Uh, let's go through them one by one. Andy did Nan's Sweets, which was sort of a lime, chocolate, pistachio situation. Sounds gross to me. I'm not a citrus person, period. Mm. Yeah. I, but then you start mixing citrus with like chocolate and pistachio. I'm like, get out of here. Hmm. Interesting. It's yeah. not for, like, I like citrus fruit, but putting it, it like, yeah, a, like a lemon you. bar, it's not for me. We're getting very oh, fruit cakey. Got it, got now, I'm it. against you there, but on this idea, I'm with you. Like, I like a lemon bar, a lemon curd on its own, but once you start getting nutty with it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah. Well, I do. I don't mind the chocolate with the citrus. Like, I think I could do, you know, Trader Joe's has like a good um, chocolate. orange chocolate orange shell. Orange chocolate that sort is of thing. a go to for a lot of people. Yeah. I've had, like, last time I was in the UK, I did buy a box of Jaffa cakes. I'm like, I get it. This is good. Mm-hmm. I ate a sleeve. And then I was like, I don't really need more of this in my life. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Anyway, Andy dedicated it to his nan. Uh, one would assume that she has passed because Andy looks like a middle-aged man and his nan <laughs> is very old, but I could not find any direct evidence online that she is dead. Couldn't find a tribute post or anything, yeah, so man. I'm just going to say no points yeah, awarded. Okay, understandable. Yeah, yeah. Um, if he would just, if they, if if they would just declare it on TV. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just need one extra line. It's like who sadly is no longer with us. Right. Right. I mean, yeah, he could. In theory, it could be like two teen pregos back to back. You yeah. Know? But also, <laughs> as the teen still pregos. alive. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, but also as the royal family has shown us, uh, the British people can live till true dust. That's true. <laughs> true dust. <laughs> true, true, true dust where you are like, you, that's... how are you going? <laughs> <laughs> they can live to true dust, yeah, but yeah. All, sometimes that's just the way they're looking and they're actually not that old by. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I would, like, I'm very in- interested to look like Kissinger's genes go- date back to, like, <laughs> British or something. Like, they just stay alive. <laughs> Meanwhile, Big Mama couldn't make it to the end of Soul Food. So, like, what's happening here? Um, Who is it? Patton Oswalt has a bit about how, like, um, he had, he did the DNA test and he was, like, 0.1% Mongolian or whatever. Yeah. And then he called the company and they're like, oh, yeah, that's just, um, What's his name? <laughs> the, the worst. Oh, Genghis, Genghis Khan. Khan. Genghis Khan. Yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Genghis Khan just fucked so much. He's got like everyone's got a little bit right, of Genghis right. Khan. Right, right. Everybody's got a little gang gang. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it is true. We're really gang, gang, going gang, gang, yeah. off the 
fucking rails <laughs> today. <laughs> but, but the person who's listening to this in mm. history class is like, fuck yeah! Yeah, yeah. Genghis Khan. <laughs> Hell yeah, getting that right on my was, pop I quiz. Couldn't, I couldn't get the name. Uh, oh my oh god. god, you're going to destroy the studio. I know, yeah, I'm, I'm too big oh, in here. Shit. I'm coming off Bowl of in that a China Vegas shop. energy. We got to go to Vegas, also, but only if y'all some real sinners. <laughs> Oh boy! I my yeah. Ve- I grew up in Vegas, yeah, so I have a very different. Town. Oh, you grew have up we in never Vegas? talked about this? No, no, I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. Oh, it's, you know who else did? Who? Matthew Matthew, Matthew Gray, Gray Goobler. Goobler. Yeah, 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 the Goobs. There, there aren't a lot. It's it's him, me. Um, why am I blanking on her name? From like Workaholics and um, Brittany runs a marathon. Uh, no. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> sort of the J. <laughs> well, look, while we're in the oversharing hour, there are two men that M calls daddy besides me, and that is TJ Lavin from The Challenge and okay. Matthew Gray Goobler. Mm, and oh. I went to go do a show with Beth Stelling, and when we got there, um, she was talking to the opener, and she's like, oh, I'll be able to pay more attention now that TJ Lavin isn't back here, and she keeps talking, and we're like, wait, hold up. Did you say TJ Lavin? He was like, "Oh yeah, he lives in Vegas, and he came to see the show, and we lo- we like missed him by like five minutes." Oh, and I was wow. like, "I would have audibly screamed if I would have <laughs> saw him." Like, like, I love the it's challenge, daddy. so I love TJ Lavin. Yeah, yeah. And then like we were like, "Wouldn't it be funny if like the goobs were out- were out here?" And as we we're driving back to LA, on his Instagram, he was like, "I was partying in oh, Las Vegas." No I was way. like, "You missed two of your like top yeah, guys, yeah. top guys, <laughs> just by a hair." Wow. Yeah. So close. Uh, you were right. It was a J name. It's Jillian Bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, Jillian, for forgetting. Um, but yeah. Oh, I got some. Here we go. Hit me. We're, we'll talk about it off air. Okay. Jimmy Kimmel is the other one that people bandy about, but he wasn't like born and raised. He like moved there as a teenager. Oh, I didn't oh. even know. Because he has his comedy club out there. Yeah. That's where I performed. That's Thanks, right. Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I ran, I not ran into, but like I walked past uh, Brad Garrett on the street the other day. Really? He also has a comedy club in Las oh, Vegas. Oh, right. At yeah. the MGM? I performed there. He lives up to the hype as so. far mm-hmm. as his height goes. He is very tall. <laughs> oh, okay, good, good. I passed him and was like, that That can only be one man. It's Brad yeah. Garrett, for sure. Hell yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Andy had his timing down pat on this bake, but he left it in too long and overbaked it because once again, for the second time this season, did not hear his alarm. Oh. I do feel like he's got to get his hearing checked. That's not yeah. good. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe it's just the right you know pitch where it's like <laughs> missing. In his yeah. Ear. yeah, yeah, like a dog whistle. It's right. like yeah. normal humans like he can't hear it, but normal humans can. Right, yeah, right, right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Andy. Yeah. Or it's just like you know he's got his head like in under hoods inside of engines all day. It's like, yeah. Right. He should oh, wear yeah. earplugs at work. I yeah, know. gotta protect those ears. Anyway, so he kind of rushed. His piping was all wiggly. He made a joke about how it gives his personality across. They said it was actually pretty delicious, but it was burnt and overbaked. So mm. sorry, Andy. Beginning of the end for our friend Andy. Yes, Andy. Uh, Jill made a pistachio and blueberry tart. Love this combination. Love mm. both of those things. Uh, dedicated to her husband, presumably not dead. <laughs> well, we know because Still we kicking. heard him at the end of the episode. That's oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, yeah, she called him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the pistachio is the only nut that he likes, so she made it. Um, okay, I wrote down dinky tarts because they uh, did I miss oh, something? Yeah. I watched this episode sort of quickly. Did I miss something about dinky tarts? They kept calling it a dinky tart, and I'm oh. like, is that a thing in English? It has to be a thing. I, I gotta yeah. say, uh, what was the name of this thing? Uh, a frangipan tart. Yeah, I've never heard of that ever. M knew what it was, so frangipan. I feel I think yeah. it's one of those iffy holes. Um, but <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't <laughs> We've talked enough about Iffy's holes this episode. Well, yeah, I feel like there's certain food things that just flew by me. Yeah, yeah. French no, Japan. it's like everyone Have has you... like movies they've never seen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah. see any YouTube what? videos. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I haven't seen missing anything. Missing out on lots of memes. Yeah, I don't know. Mom missing on memes. Yeah, no, no culture over here. But no, okay. All I know about Fran Japan is the singer Halsey's real last name is Fran Japani. Really? Or something? Oh, interesting. Oh. And I was like, oh, isn't that some sort of food? And then I forgot about it. And then I guess it's this. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Fran Japan is just like almond paste, basically. Yeah. So like a. French man tart is just like a, any tart with any form of like almond paste in it, okay. which is, it's not super common here, but it's like, you can find it. If you find yeah. like a good like patisserie here, you you can find it. And I'm sure you got a list. I'll ask you for it later. <laughs> we'll talk later. How do you feel about that big French one downtown? That's that's like the famous, kind of famous one. Uh, downtown LA? Yeah, downtown LA. It has the like big ass oh, like, windows that you can oh, see in. Bon- it's bon- French, bon- I think. <laughs> Wait, I know they're 
But take a Louis. Yes, but take a Louis. Oh, I haven't been. I oh. haven't been. I know. I don't know. If no, no, that's cool. I, I think that's one of the little... Mike holes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mike, that's a Mike <laughs> hole. But if you look, if you win, we'll do Bottega Louis. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they have like, um, I've had their macarons or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really good. Um, I mean, they were, I don't I, think it was like, I don't know if I have a very particular like special sure, sure, sure. thing in my I mind about that. I'm going to take a macaron like Tour? pit stop because mm-hmm. I'm curious of how you, because macarons, I feel like, like I love like one, but I always feel like, I'm never like super hyped to eat. I do some. feel like there's a ceiling on how good it could be. Yeah, there are certain foods where it's like, no, you. There's a better version. Yeah, macarons to me, it's like there's the good version, mm-hmm. and that's as good as it yes. gets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if it's, it's like, pretty good, if but, it's like yeah. stale, that's bad. Yeah, and then exactly. there's like the good kind, and yeah. you're right, and it's like whatever flavor you like. Maybe there's a cool flavor, but agreed, yeah. they're pretty standard. Yeah. 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 Um, but I also tried to make them one time, and it was the hardest thing ever. So much respect. Oh yeah, we yeah. I've respect. heard they are very difficult. Too much whipping. It's like you need like you know machines, right? Which you know you have a stirrer or whatever. But yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. truly That's too much. That's what they're called, stirrers. Stir. You got to stir. <laughs> yeah, I was going to let that fly, you know, because I've been giving you a hard time about the memes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, let it fly then. God damn it! <laughs> Don't say you were gonna. <laughs> Uh, Georgie made almond bakewells, pretty classic flavor combination, raspberry and almond. She was a star baker last week. Uh, not a lot to say here. They said it was good. <laughs> uh, Nellie made iceberg frangipan tarts with blood orange and some hazelnut almond in there. Uh, they made a comment about her meringue was all over the place. She said it was like a Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. Nice. You know, Willy Wonka. Yeah, she's got great personality. Yeah. Give her yeah, her own show. Love equip. Pretty that's fun. Great. Yeah. Uh, they did say her pastry was thick, but it was good. Mm-hmm. Dylan made a coffee and dark chocolate frangipan tart with some blackberry frangipan in there. Uh, turned out a little cakey. It puffed up. He yeah. thought he used the wrong flour. So he did start over. That is a half point. Yes. Um, we didn't. Did somebody else start over? Oh, no, we didn't get to it. There's oh, a right, lot right, of right. starting over. Yeah, 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 a lot yeah. of people got the point. Yeah. Yeah. I will so say good. this was a mm-hmm. high danger for soggy bottoms this episode and i was waiting okay. for okay yeah yeah yes i, admit, I yeah. was going to talk about this during the technical because they every bake on the technical they were like it's pretty soggy and no one said soggy yeah, bottom it was so wild soggy bottom not no. uttered once in this yeah. episode yeah. Hmm. it was only uh, uttered once by paula Pro, and they're like we don't want a soggy bottom yes and i was like okay okay we're here we go and never no points I, it was so frustrating <laughs> The ultimate tease. Uh, what if the editors like w- listen to this, and so now they're tr- they're gaming the system. They gotta go they're, back. They're, they're edging trying us to, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. They're like cut out every mention of soggy bottom. <laughs> yeah, it was, that that was very frustrating. So just uh, sort of a spoiler: no one gets points for soggy bottom this yeah. week, which is a bummer. Uh, but that's a negative point, so I guess it's technically yeah, yeah. I, that, yeah, no, I was scared. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Ilian made a taste of the tropics frangipan tart with some passion fruit, coconut, and mango. Um, okay. Here's a little discussion. Eileen's crusts were sort of like melting, and Dylan saw into her oven and pointed out to her, is that helping? I feel like it was yeah. because it helped her realize it before it was too mm-hmm. long, and I think then gave her a little more time, even though she still didn't have that much time. Mm-hmm. But like they said, the bake itself was already such a crunch. Yeah, yeah. But I do, the way he did it cracked me up so much, he was like, don't freak. But... <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like, like a real 20 year old. Yeah, yeah, it felt like someone trying out a new word. Like, yeah. oh, I'm going to try. Nice. Yo, don't freak. But, uh... <laughs> He's cool now. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. He like, saw it on freak. a TV show. Yeah, he has that pink metal uh, hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you agree that I, yeah, helping? I yeah. saw that I, in my head I was like I think that's helping because yeah I mean even though it's not hands on I would say it's yes. just the next best I thing I agree so. it, it's yeah, yeah it, despite the fact that it's not hands on it is like actively helping with the bake it's yeah. not like a hug it's not right. for, it's it's like yeah. hey you're gonna fuck yeah, this up yeah you wouldn't so. have seen this yeah exactly yeah. yeah okay so one point to Dylan for helping there Eileen does start over so she gets a half point there uh, but they are both now tied on time because they have both started over yeah and it's very mm-hmm. terrifying um, they said that her shells looked terrible and uh, she should have focused on either the mango or the passion fruit. Kind of don't work well together. It was underbaked. It was soggy. They did not say soggy bottom. Yeah, when they when they said that, it did hit me. I was like, yeah, passion fruit is kind of a strong flavor. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. And I think, but I think it's because coconut usually cuts both of them. So like mm. the trio helps. But mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think it did Pog is right. the classic um, mm. trio. I want to... High pog five all day, so every day. Yes, I'm a pog head. We're all we're pog all pog head. heads here. If pog the, hog. 
if the Welch's Corporation wants to send us some cartons of Pog. Yeah. I'd love to have a nice... A mug of Pog? Mm. Mug of Pog. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So that's that was Ilian. She was she said she was bummed because this was supposed to be her week. I guess she is very good at pastry mm. otherwise. But. Spoiler alert, it won't, it's not. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm going to let y'all know oh. right now. And she's on your team. Yeah, yeah. it was re- it was a real hard watch, but I'm gonna and we're gonna have words about it later. This was a pretty solid week for Dylan because I think Dylan got kneecapped. I think he should have been in line for Star Baker, mm-hmm. and I feel like they didn't because he's already kind of been back to backing. Oh, okay, yeah. But I was like, his standard is well high. because based on like the collection of stuff, Sumaya didn't do that well up until I feel like the end where it was like Dylan had an okay thing. One, mm-hmm. and then his thing was like, all right. And I think they did, and they said they were, so I can't be that mad. That it, they put more weight on the, um, the, the showstopper, the showstopper yeah. which then like subtracted how good I think. I think Dylan did the best because... He did the, the best overall. Yeah, sure. overall. Yeah, 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 the best average. Yeah. yeah. I guess they kind of, like, okay. But, it did seem like they, at that point, were like, everybody's the same, so it's now going to be up to the showstopper exactly. or whatever. But and like, for me, it was uh-huh. so clear, Jill. Like, the moment they... It, right. Jill, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. So I was like, so give Dylan his flowers. And I feel like because it was, like, ne- negligible, because it was so clear, they're like, sure. we don't want to be Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Yeah, which, we don't want to stack the deck. I hope means it's because he's going to go on a tear this season. I you would think. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> it, sure, it, it's huh. with especially with competition cooking shows, it can be gone in a second. Yeah, yeah. Shout truly, out to yeah. Rossica. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. Rossica. Yeah. A pain. Wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Danny She's... just recently we're talking about right, Top Chef yeah, now, Top for those Chef. of you who are yeah. not caught up on Top Chef. Uh Danny recently opened his restaurant in New York and oh. I'm like like this week. Yeah. Oh, shit. If you've been to Time and Tide, New York, write and tell us how it was because yeah. this was week and one. And Danny, don't don't be coy. I know you see the clips, or I know at <laughs> least Amanda has told you about yeah. the clips. I know you've seen it. Stop <laughs> being coy. Come into the DMs. Give us an invite. Yeah. Okay. We'll pull up. I'm about to be in New York in December. Let me pull up. You ain't even got to go crazy. Just give me a resi. I'll take care of the rest. It's the part of the podcast where we just oh, shut out all the other listeners and we just focus on one person. <laughs> Who may or may not be yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll Definitely make, it, we'll make a clip. We'll tag not. him in the clip. Yes. You know, we'll you do the know, thing. We we'll do the thing. Yeah. We'll do the look, thing. Look, look, look. The, the chefs, the, the, the what, what do we call, what do we call our, the listeners? Oh, we don't have a name for our listeners. Yeah, I thought we might have came up with one, but I think you're right. Fantasy chefers? That doesn't... Well, no, what would we call... What would you call... Yeah, Yeah, yeah. and and feel free to chime in. Y'all have been talking to us a lot, and thank you. What should we call... Who are you? (laughs) Who are you? (laughs) Tell us who the fuck you are. (laughs) Um, Sumaya made raspberry and coconut frange band tarts. Tried to make up for last week, because she did terribly last week. They said they were beautiful, but they were... Burnt, overbaked, texture good, overbaked. And Christian made a cashew and black sesame frange pan tart with some apricot jam. I love that. black sesame. I'm in. I'm sold on anything black sesame. Once again, we're we're melding mine right melding. there. Yeah. Have you been to uh, Bodega Park on Sunset? No. They sell a black sesame latte. It's like a riff on a misugaru. I was about to recommend mm-hmm. your uh, 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 kindness and mischief in Highland Park has a oh. black sesame latte too. Nice. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. I'm, like yeah, open market, I think, used to have one, then they took it off the menu, and that was yeah. bummer. R.I.P. Oh. Anyway, if you have a black sesame latte mm-hmm. in your town, let us know. It's yeah. it's great. It's great. Highly recommend. I'll say, I'll go on and say it. Tag me in it. Post it. <laughs> <laughs> you post it in the Instagram story. Tag me in it. Uh, you know who did not like black sesame was Prue, who said that the French pan looked like fried mushrooms. They said that sesame was not bringing anything to the party. The cashew got lost, and it looked like sardine pate. <laughs> that is that rough. They so really rough. They they hate go Christian. after Christian. Yeah. They, he's innovative. I love his flavor combination. Yeah. Like, how bad could it be? I can't well, be. Uh, and, 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 and I think the flavor's defense, they were, they, they were oh, like, yeah, because I think Paul liked the flavor. Prue didn't. But Prue was so fixated on how it, it looked. Looks, right, yeah. right. And when they said it, <laughs> I could not argue. <laughs> Fried I was kind of, Black I was sesame like, looks gross. Yeah, yeah. Well, mm. I think it just was the dish. Because of the dish, it looked like it could be savory or sweet. Right. Yeah, so, I know what I you think mean. That, yeah. yeah. Whereas, like, but if I if you told me like those flavors, 
I, w- I would be like, I yeah, see Yeah, just it. on a menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that happened to Dylan later in this episode. We'll get to it. But he does like the matcha. And Paul, you could see it on his face how much he doesn't like matcha. And Dylan was like boiling matcha and it looked like mud. And I'm like, that's not helping your case. <laughs> it looks bad. You know what I mean? I love matcha. Yeah. <laughs> right, matcha is my go-to drink when I'm in a yeah. coffee shop. Yeah. But I'm like, that didn't, it didn't look appetizing. Anyway, the technical challenge this week was to make a uh, span of copita. Uh, nobody's ever had it. <laughs> I'm like, we, we have it all the time yeah, here. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, I love a Yeah, I, I do I too. I love a spin. That's yeah. so funny. That and the UK didn't. is closer yeah, to Greece. Yeah, I thought for sure they would have definitely yeah. had Or some version that's like, oh, this is kind of like fill in the blank of another, yeah. you know, similar yeah. cuisine yeah, dish. Yeah, you would but... think. But no. Uh, Jill and Andy specifically said they've never had it, never made it. Yeah. Um, both, both mine. <laughs> in... I was like, oh, God. <laughs> In her notes, our producer Val wrote, seems like no one's having a good time here. (laughs) (laughs) They talk about how it's like no one makes phyllo dough anymore because it's very hard to do. So everyone buys store-bought. And they were making it. I was like, that's a very thin dough. Yeah. It just rolls the pasta machine until it's like paper. I'm like, that's... See, I get why no one makes it. I know. It seemed very uh, difficult and... Yeah, apparently it is very difficult to make. That's why no one makes it. Yeah. But I will say I liked lots of good technique here. And, you know, Dylan, one of the first things he said is, like, it gets soggy. Mm-hmm. So that's why mm-hmm. I blanched it first. And I was like. He's a, he's a clever boy. That's my boy D using right, that. He right. had a brain blast. Yeah, yeah, really good. And then get that moisture out of that spinach. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone did get <laughs> what I would describe as, like, a small garbage bag full of spinach. It was yeah. so much spinach. It gets real small, though. Yeah. It does. I actually so, yeah. made a spinach thing this weekend, and I think I was inspired by that. And then it's like when you're, you know, when you're squeezing out the juice, you're yeah. like, it's like hot. It I mean, I guess you should yeah. rinse it and cool it down and stuff. Yeah. And it was also like, yeah, is this the good juices? I don't know. Yeah. Is that where all the nutrients are? Yeah. Are I mean, probably. All the good stuff? Yeah. Probably. All the vitamins. They say you're supposed to eat your veggies raw, right? And yeah. squeezed. It's like as soon as you cook, it's just like oh sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not well, nearly as family. Yeah, exactly. Right, right, right. Not a crazy person. Not a rabbit. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing I wrote is that everyone ended up having to crank the heat halfway through their bake. Like yeah. everyone was like, yeah, this yeah. isn't really getting enough color. Right. They were like, it was supposed to be like one eighty or something. And they were like, it was like two twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm but like, I that's understand. a recipe problem. If the recipe's yeah. like, put it on 180 for 20, and they're right. like, that's not working, yeah. Yeah, that's like, that's not their fault. Yeah, I definitely. Or maybe they need to squeeze more because the cool Oh, wet sure, spinach. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that wasn't cooking everybody's yeah. soggy bottoms, which, yeah. which never came didn't up. Didn't even happen. Never came they, up. They, they, a lot of description of soggy bottoms, no actual yeah. utterance of the They got us going like, the, the bottom of this, very moist. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Really frustrating. Uh, going in order from worst to first and last place was Jill. They said it was underbaked and wet underneath. Yes. That's basically soggy bottom. Yeah, but that's I can't, very funny. I can't give the points it's there. It's okay. It's good. Uh, Euphemistic. Yeah. <laughs> Andy and Jill both struggled and fell behind here. That was yeah. kind of a bummer to see. Uh, Jill said she went from hero to zero because she did so well in the first round. Last place in the technical. Yeah. Andy came in seventh. Said it was too small. The color was uneven. Needed long in the oven. Soggy. A lot of soggy bottom. They just yep. said it was soggy. Yep. Uh, in sixth place was Georgie. Looks a bit soggy. Needed to squeeze out her spinach a little more. Lost a little definition. Quite wet inside was another quote. The bottom pastry didn't cook right. Really dancing, really circling the drain of a yeah. soggy bottom here. Crazy. Uh, Ilene came in fifth. Bit pale. Uh, still wet inside. Fourth place, Sumaya. Need another loop. Her, her like loop wasn't long yeah. enough. That was an interesting... Criticism. Color not bad. Bit soggy underneath. Did not say soggy bottom. Okay, in third place, getting a half point, was Nellie, uh, who is now going to get a pasta machine for her birthday. She said she wanted an ice cream maker yeah. and start playing with the pasta machine. She's like, this is the business. <laughs> That's fun. Um, yeah, just need a little longer in the oven. In second place, getting one point was Christian, who pointed out, always the bridesmaid, this is his third time coming in second. Yeah, yeah wow. Which is so frustrating. Oh, yeah. I sh- he's on my team. I should have been keeping track of this, and I didn't. And it wasn't until he said it. I was like, God damn it, man. Yeah, I can't quite sink it. I've been missing out on yeah. points there. But they did say it was a good color, nice flavor. Could have baked a little longer. In first place, a point and a half, is Dylan. Not exactly perfect, but it wasn't wet. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a delight one. You can't hear it on air, but on the other side of this wall is our <laughs> producer, Val. 
And when I can hear her laugh, it just <laughs> yeah, it's a little treat. It's a like, yeah, yeah, it's a real delight. Uh, yeah, so Dylan came in first. Dylan really just the Blanche worked. The Blanche worked. <laughs> He also this was during this challenge. He did the the like push test where he's like, "See how it doesn't come back. That means it's ready." I'm like, "This kid is." He good. was really down yeah. to business on this. I also always think of it like because he wants to be a chef. I'm like, "Well, if it's like savory, maybe he's a little bit more in his right. element because he, he wants to be right. chef." Yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. Um, so those are the standings going into the showstopper round. The showstopper this week is to make a Paris breast centerpiece with an edible stand. Insane. What an insane challenge! Yeah, this is this is so weird. Another engineer, one, yeah, but it, it, there yeah. was a lot of food involved, so it it it, it clears it for me. But I'm not, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm kind of frowning. Why? It, well, just because I when it, I I say every time it branches away from baking, and right, right. Yeah, similar yeah. to like the puppet show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, come on, what right. are we doing here? A little are we, too gimmicky. Are we Lego for masters yeah. or whatever that yeah. show is. Well, it's like the the Perry breast on its own is like hard to make. Yeah, and they had to make it a show. So I was like, well, what can we do? Put it on a tall, precarious yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, right. It's like they. It's kind of felt like two challenges that they kind of mushed together. But well, I there guess was so. a moment that I audibly screamed in this. <laughs> oh, here part. we go. And you know which one it is. Okay, I I probably know because yeah. I it was really funny and I it's like I don't know we'll get to it but we'll man, to it. I was we'll just get to it. yeah we'll discuss. Paul does start off the challenge by saying like I, he doesn't want the stance to collapse he doesn't want anything to hit the floor and I'm yeah. like it's pretty ominous yeah <laughs> yeah yeah um, I don't know why you start on that note yeah. right I'm like I'm pretty sure these little cookie cookie tables are gonna crumble yeah yeah but as long as people make you know like strong bases <laughs> yeah not anything thin like and pithy. brittle <laughs> that'd be crazy know. who would do that because it's true because <laughs> the thing about okay and i just have something to say about it because the thing about andy is it's like you know from the start it's like i, I drafted andy and i said this guy and he was my last draft and i was like this guy you know they're he's got all these you know, kind of masculine things they're pushing about his bio, it seems. Like, yeah. you know, this car mechanic, so yeah, sort of yeah. like this maybe thing of yeah. like, and you can bake too, even if you do yeah. those things. And right. then, and he's, you know, he's got a great personality, he has all these weird stories, he has his hilarious voice and accent and stuff. But then, yeah, he makes these decisions. Every step of the way, there was like the cornucopia is like, yeah. Yeah. you know, falling apart. And he's yeah. always, you know, so he's been really scraping by. So I wasn't surprised that it turned into this. But yeah, the fact I, that you choose sugar as your base. I feel it's, like <laughs> that there has to be a certain point when you're baking and you're looking around. And <laughs> like, no I'm not on the same page. It's a big line. <laughs> and then, <laughs> And then, okay, and to point out that, like, when he, he was already nervous about it going in, right? And he already screwed up the first one, too, and he was obviously bad at the second one. So he's going in pretty weak, and he, you know, he already knows that sugar, to whatever the thing he's making it's is toffee. pretty. Yeah, yeah, toffee is not very good, not very sturdy. And then he's, like, trying to set it, and he's trying to set it on the little thing. He's trying to set that little brittle thing on a little brittle thing. And then it kind of tips over, and he just smashes it. it yeah. He smashes it he with his own hand. It looks like it explodes. Yeah, it, yeah, like, in a cartoon it, way. But he's, like, his he's, hands come together. He trenches it. You were bringing it. I was like, He should have let it fall. Yeah, because who like, knows if it, you know, maybe it hit yeah, the ground yeah. and it crumbles. But he literally just went, smash. Yeah, I mean, he obviously didn't read of Mice and Men. Like, he came yeah, at exactly. it. He let Need it. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. Like, let go. Cause like um, I, cause with me, I, I'm like, oh, naturally oh. you would come under it, but he, he was going from the side. He was applying <laughs> yeah, yeah. lateral pressure. Exactly, I perpendicular hands. I screamed. <laughs> Absolutely. I screamed when that exploded, and then after screaming, going. Why did you do yeah, that? Yeah. I couldn't like, even. If it was that, if it was because you have to think, you have to think for a second that if you're holding <laughs> something like this, you gotta put something on that. Like the goal yeah, is yeah. to put a yeah. thing it's on a that. Plate. Yeah. So if you can't even hold it, that's not a good sign. Yeah. Oh my god, so Our funny. Poor boy, Andy. Yeah, I thought I was we like, love your I hats. wasn't even sad. <laughs> like I wasn't even like disappointed. I was just like, this guy, like, put him out of his misery. You know, I feel, he does not need to. I be... feel the opposite. I'm like, I feel bad because. I don't know. I don't know if I feel bad is the right way to say it, but it's like he did make it so much harder on himself than yes. he needed. So there were no you external this. forces. Yeah. You, you know deserve what I mean? this. I know, I know. He really, yeah, he could have gone with, you could have just done basically anything else. And, yeah. Anything else. The chair on top is him smashing it with his own hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a real metaphor for the whole problem. Yeah, truly. And then, Paul Hollywood going, well, <laughs> you made the base with sugar. <laughs> 
like had just no support. Oh just like, God. yeah, like, that's yeah. why yeah. you wouldn't, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Oh, my poor boy. <laughs> All right. Well, needless to say, Andy did get a half point for starting his toffee stand over again. <laughs> Good. Because he shattered the first one. And uh, oh. and he still had to present. The second one also didn't work. He had to present it like yeah. on a cutting pieces. board. Yeah. yeah. Charcuterie. Toffee charcuterie. Oh, what a but bummer. But it was a thing where it was a game time decision where he was like, I don't think this is going to survive. Because it was sitting up. Yeah, and he looked at it, and he was like, "No," and he took it down. They're like, "Time yeah. out!" It was like, yeah. they, like it, that answered the question of how strict they are with the time. He was like, "Time up! Get your hands off! Get your hands <laughs> That's off!" True. That's I true. do feel I, like sometimes they do that final count. They're like, "And time yeah. <laughs> is." Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. At that yeah, time, yeah. they it really felt targeted towards the time out. They can get your hands yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get we your hands off. Then leave it. Uh, okay, here's a legitimate question I had about Andy's. He, so his was a date caramel rum thing, pecan toffee, and he said this was based on a bar of chocolate that his partner Nikki used to get him when they first started dating. For the second week in a row, I'm asking, what is that candy bar? Toffee. What is the date caramel pecan toffee date. candy bar they sell in the UK? Yeah, it's got a, they got all sorts of things mm-hmm. over there. <laughs> I feel like every time I go, I'm not... Mm. Because I, I like looking at the snack aisle when I go to other countries. It's another fun anthropological excursion. I've talked about how I like going to McDonald's when I go to other countries. Mm. I've been to the UK more than once, and I every time I look at the candy aisle, first of all, I feel like it is mostly um, not Cadbury. What's the the purple brand they have there? The Like their oh, version yeah. of like Nestle or Hershey. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say Wonka. It's not, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And it's like the, it's it's hard to find – the interesting stuff, because most of it is just like, oh, yeah, it's like aero bars, you know what I mean? It's not, they're, they're, the supermarkets are not stocking the good stuff. Maybe they have, I feel like they probably just have separate candy stores that maybe yeah, like carry yeah. all this that you would go into, but. Or they've been. discontinued so, a lot. Sure. It might be Whitworth's Caramel. Ooh. Whitworth's fruit, Caramel. Fruit nut mix. Oh. Okay. Fruit. That does that sound good. That covers a lot yeah. of the ingredients. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm in there. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate hey, look, I your research. Down. Yeah, yeah. Whitworth. Oh, that does look good. Okay. It looks a lot more modern than I would have thought. Yeah. Mm. That looks like a product that came out like in the last five years. Yeah. All right. Well, good. We got that question answered. Um, what else about Andy? Uh, he said Mussolini and not Mussolini. <laughs> yeah. That's, that, that was good. cute. Cute moment. Completely overshadowed by the facts. That that <laughs> he, <laughs> he smashed his own thing. Smashed his own thing. But yes. Yes. <laughs> he did. Uh, I feel like Paul Hollywood had the quick comeback of the Lennon. He's like, the Lennon, Lennon cream. cream. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Quick on his feet. That's good. He yeah. took Improv 101. He gets it. That's good. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I did want to talk about this before we get into the actual contestants. Allison's VO was this mini history lesson. She talks about how uh, the Paris Breast came about in 1910 to celebrate a cycling competition. I had no idea about that. I'm bringing this up because I had a conversation with someone this week as we were talking about the show. I've never seen the first few series because it like, in America, like our season one was their series like five or something. Mm. Yeah. So there's actually like these lost seasons that Americans generally haven't seen, um, and the only thing I know about those early seasons are that because I've heard them talk about this in interviews, the BB the the department of the BBC that the show started under was the documentary department. Wow. So it was never really intended to be oh like a competition show. Really, it was more just like here are these people baking these things. And then someone I was talking to was like, I've seen those early seasons, and they do a little bit more of this kind of thing where they're like, today they're going to be baking this thing, which comes from this part of the world. And then they'll like go there, like Mel and oh. Sue would like go there oh, and like shit. present like facts about it. So it was interesting to see because th- we don't get a lot of this. We don't get yeah. a lot of history lessons. We don't get a lot of like, here's how this thing came about. So I thought it was really interesting that Allison had this little voiceover that was like, here's why and how we have the Paris Press. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And I felt, uh, and, and Em was like, oh, I feel like. They made Allison do the voiceover because they couldn't have Paul saying breast that many times. I was like, yeah, mom would make an audio book for it and cum her skeleton out. Oh, God. Cum her wow. skeleton out. I, that what one, so I made fun of Dylan. That was something that I took on for try because <laughs> sure, I saw sure, on TikTok sure. where someone 
showed a, a lasagna and they said this lasagna looks so good if Garfield saw it he would come, <laughs> come his skeleton out hmm. and I was like I want to try that what out a beautiful turn of phrase yeah yeah, yeah. I was like I, that actually works I'm gonna and it's somehow that. like not as gross because <laughs> you include the skeleton yeah in there. yeah it's like yeah. a little more uh, you know seasonal for the Halloween holiday. yeah <laughs> um, you know and then yeah, yeah. this is the season to come Garfield. your skeleton out <laughs> You know, only once a year we <laughs> can once use a year. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After October, I will never say <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You only got one week wait. left. Yeah, yeah you'll yeah. have to wait till next year. To hear. <laughs> oh my God, we God have damn. so much to get through. Okay, Jill <laughs> made. <laughs> God damn it, Jill made a lemon and thyme meringue Paris breast. Mm, yeah. She has practiced it before. Okay, points here. She dedicated it to her dad. And it does appear that he is dead. <laughs> Whoa, how'd you find that? Uh, she had an Instagram post, uh-huh, and yeah. uh, in reference to her father, she said, I miss you. Yeah. And I cannot assume that sure. he moved very far away. I, I have to He could right be at his seat, but I am willing to yeah, yeah. Nice. say give the points. Yeah. Give her the half point there. I will say, <clears throat> you know, I, 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 I think this a lot, and I, I want to give you your flowers here, that Mike does a good job, I think, t- doing the detective work yeah. oh, to ensure Truly. each relative is, in fact, dead. It's You're... it's morbid it's good, yeah. and, mm-hmm. like, arguably in poor taste, and I don't think I'll, <laughs> <laughs> don't think I'll use this rule again next year. Uh, oh, fair, I, fair. I, I feel like it, it, it kind of, like, yeah, let let us know whatever you're called. <laughs> fans, fans, generalized oh, right. fans right yeah. now. Generalized fans, we're going to figure out the mm-hmm. name before the next episode. Yeah. Pro, anti, because it's funny because it's like, I think what saves it is the, that the, it it acknowledges the act. And it is, I like, we're not making fun of the fact that their relative died. No, yeah. But it is like such, it is a trope at this point. That we are clocking. Yes. And I think sure. that mm-hmm. gives it merit where it's like, yeah. oh, no, like, rest in peace to your dad for sure. Yeah, yeah. If he's dead, not at sea. Um, <laughs> but, like. Yeah, no it, ill will to the yeah, dead. But, like, you did a, you did the thing. You yes, set the line exactly. part. Yeah. It happens objectively. Yeah. And often enough that it is. Exactly. We can award points to it. Yeah. And for all intents and purposes. It has happened so much in one season Truly, of this yeah. show. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that and, like, it's kind of, yeah, of all of all their shows. Yeah. All the yeah. shows that we watch and all those, you know, reality shows generally. Like, I feel like it's a big part of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because the show is generally more emotional. They yeah. let the contestants. Oh, it, it, it's all I more tears say, than any other show, too. Yeah. I kind of did get a little emotional at the end of this episode. Oh. Because the way that her husband talked about her was so oh, yeah. sweet oh, very yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. that it like it really like that's relationship the, goals yeah, yeah like the way he celebrated her was so like genuine and sweet you could tell it wasn't like for the air this is he was like genuinely so proud of yeah. his oh, wife yeah yeah and, yeah, yeah, that, was... and that one kind of got me oh yeah, that's real yeah love. that was really uh, i'm just a fan out. of love you know i love love yeah, I yeah. Love love. wait till we get to valentine's day <laughs> uh okay i i wrote down the first thing they said about jill's bake because it, i've been banging this drum for a while <laughs> they said i love the simplicity of this which is yeah. again jill just does <laughs> i i'm sure they're perfectly executed but she does not aim high she's like i'm gonna make it simple and and it, if it's simple, just make it good. Do you know what I mean? And I think we, I think we might have said exactly this: that the beauty in that is when everyone else tries to go like way too hard yeah, and yeah. does so many complicated things. If you just keep it simple and nail it, mm-hmm. you win. And this is proof. Right, but everybody does kind of have to fuck up a little bit because yeah, if somebody yeah. nails like the really like a Dylan Comedy. nails yeah, a really yeah, yeah. intense good thing, then well, the, it's good. When but Christian then... fully nails it, he's gonna <laughs> sweep. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, Can't yeah. Can't wait for the day. Yeah, yeah, one day soon. But yeah, for sure, I feel like in this one, especially because everybody was kind of, I mean, struggling throughout, and she did a good first, um, you know, challenge. The so, signature bake. Signature bake. Yes. Yeah, she did a good of that, even though she's on the bottom for the technical. But um, right. but yeah, she was really like maybe this was the week for her to shine because of the simplicity part. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. They did say it was one of the best looking Paris breasts in the tent. Paul started clapping, and then everyone else started clapping as well. I was going to have a whole discussion about is the Paul clap worth one point? I'm already kind of voting no, though. Yeah, I'm voting no because I think based on her face, based on how we, if you felt the same way me and M felt watching it. 
We felt it was coming, and it just didn't. And I feel like that's like, yeah, no, nah, like, it, yeah. There's a world, and you would get a clap and a handshake, right? So yes. I see. Yeah yeah, 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 that's fair. I I also didn't think of that because yeah. I feel like there was so many times when he was like close with Georgie, right? Like he gave yeah, her yeah. a pad, and the the, pat. they like had a discussion about it. And the since pat there felt like anything, it was like in lieu of a handshake. Yeah. It was very specifically like you didn't this quite earn a handshake, yeah. right? And so it was like, yeah. But general applause feels like that's just they it, didn't even like discuss you said, yeah. it happened. Yeah. And I think also the applause came after they went through so many bad versions. <laughs> That yeah. the applause like, felt like someone did it. <laughs> yeah. Period. Yeah. Because I thought, I did think, I was like, this feels like it's going to be one. Like, up until we got to Jill, I was like, oh, this is going to be one where they're going to have to award Star Baker to someone who did all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then they had chills, and they're like, thank God yeah, yeah, this yeah. one is actually it out good. Really well. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Interesting. Uh, okay, moving on. Sumaya made a tree of life with some passion fruit, dark chocolate flavors in there. She has made it before. The stand was made out of crocan, inspired by Art Nouveau. Really aiming high here. Uh, she said that she preferred Allison and Noel. That was cute. Uh, she did overbake an element, and she did start over, so that is a half point there. And the other quote that I wrote down that I really loved is, I didn't even write what Noel said, but she just said, this is not a good time to be speaking. Please move. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she was so She done. was, yeah, yeah. She <laughs> already, because they already had the discussion of Allison being her favorite yeah, or whatever, yeah. and then yeah. she's... And then this happens. Like having no patience for someone and also having that person come at a critical moment. Right. Yeah, no, like... no, 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 no. Stay back. Especially like I just can't stop thinking about the Noel hitting or knocking over Nellie's oh, um, God, caramel yeah. last episode. Yeah. That's yeah. so funny. Hi, Jinx. <laughs> Uh, they did chaos. say their tree of life had good design, good flavors. I really liked the sugar glass in the mm. stand. It was very cute. They yeah. said the shoe was overbaked, but that did help it keep its rigidity. Yes. Dylan made contrasts of tea. He boiled his little mud matcha. <laughs> and he, the, in another dorky moment, he was like, well, what, Paul was like, I don't like matcha. He's like, well, what kind of matcha are you using? You know, there's like different grades. I'm using ceremonial grade. And Paul was yeah. already like, okay, I've had enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Stop talking. <laughs> He's like, you just ain't had the right matcha yet. Yeah. You just exactly. haven't had the matcha that doesn't make you anxious. You know, you need the matcha that chills you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zen matcha. Um, he did try and pipe taller to make it look taller because it was thinner than he would like. Uh, they said that his stand was amazing from a construction point of view. The Paris breast itself was small, and uh, Paul liked the matcha. Yeah. Who to thunk? Christian made an orange and pecan Paris breast. He talked about his pronunciation of pecan. He's like, I want to be the next Nigella Lawson who said microwave. Mm. He's like, I want to say pecan. I was like, does he not know that's just kind of how we say it in America? That's so oh, funny. yeah, yeah. That was interesting. Look at this weird thing. It was like, that's how we say it, bro. Yeah, that's not that weird. Uh, <laughs> he also started over because his first um, shoe pastry looked kind of weird and floppy, so that's a half point there. They said that his stand looks elegant. His flavors are fantastic. The shoe is just okay, and his mousseline was too thick. Georgie made a pistachio and raspberry um, Paris breast inspired by cannoli. She mixed it by hand. She did not use a stirrer, as you would say. <laughs> Thank you. Um, she did overbake it. She also started over. That is also a half point for her. They said her stand was gorgeous, intricate, looks like metal. Um, oh, no, those are notes from me. I said it looked like metal. <laughs> <laughs> It did. It was the, that was the oh, one yeah. that was like I remember. It, it looked like um, like like the surface of Epcot. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, like Aquaman's armor. Mm. It Ooh. looked cool. They said it looked like country baking shop and sophisticated at the same time. Yes. Well baked, very good. They liked it. Um, no, sorry, I read the wrong part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was for Ilian. They said yeah. that. Okay, for Georgie, they okay. said her shoe was slightly overbaked and a little dry. Uh, and that her cake in the stand in the middle was better than what was on top. Sorry. Yes. But Ilyin, they liked it. <laughs> yes. Ilyin made the crown of nuttiness in a nod to Game of Thrones, and she that, wasn't it, sure if she could say it on yes, air. Yes, that, oh, that was such so a funny. funny one, and he was like, watch. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Nothing happened. Which is... It's it's weird because they talk about candy bars in this weird obtuse sort of Yeah, like, I we, know. We all know a candy bar you're talking about, but we can't say it. And it's like, but you can just say the name of a yeah, fellow you, TV show? Yeah, you can Ooh, say the name it? of other TV shows, but candy bars, no. They, they, no. Those are the litigious ones in the UK. Yeah. Interesting. I believe it. Hmm. Um, Ilian is the other one who needed help. It was kind of, She was already holding it with her hand to try and keep it up. Oh, yeah. Before they called her up, and then she had to 
but yeah, it I think I think she would have ranked higher if she would just would have let it be and not mention that it was cracked because yes. she kind of pulled it off. Yeah, and then it was like I could tell she was futzing with it because when it when they called it, it looked fine, just a little lopsided. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when she was like, uh and it's way more. I was like, you were futzing with it. Yeah. You were futzing with it, and it was fine. I yeah. see. Yeah. Well, this is the thing too, where you know, well, we've talked about this for other shows, but the fact that like the production of like how long do they wait between and right, who goes right. at oh, first? Like, yes. she kind of talks about it. She was it. like, uh-huh. well, in the time and waiting, and the time. It took right. Right. Years. Well, that's well. There was um, which one was the raspberry one where they were like, well, it looks, and it showed the picture one, and then I was like, and it looks, and I know it took some time, and it looked like that, and then it was all <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah, I forgot and that about was that. like yeah. a great edit. I was like, damn. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, okay, so they did like Illions. They said it tasted good and it was well baked and all that. Uh, Nelly made a pistachio Paris breast inspired by that tree right over there, right <laughs> yes. outside, which felt very like I forgot my uh, homework. Yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> right there, that tree. Um, oh, it's good. It's good. She also did not practice it. She's like, this is the first time I'm doing this, and invented the phrase cuckoo lala. Ooh. Nelly is cuckoo lala. Cuckoo lala. Um, lala. I did like the way that it looked. She had those little like jelly mint leaves around the edge. I thought that looked really cool. Um, they said it looked short. She called it a small mushroom. Um, uh, did you did you did y'all read that as a dick joke like I did? Small oh. mushroom. Yeah, yeah. Not till yeah. Ne- right now, yeah, but because, now I am. I, because I so. she said it, it cut to Paul, and Paul kind of smirked, and I was like, <laughs> oh. oh, okay, that was a dick joke. The editor read it that yeah, way. Yeah, the editor was like, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna force this. <laughs> Uh, they did say that the inside was doughy and underbaked. Mm. Uh, the shoe is not great, but the flavors are great. Considering that she did this kind of off the dome, I'm like, that's pretty good. If it yeah. wasn't a disaster and her inspiration was like that thing and she's yeah. like, I'm making it up, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Better uh, than Andy's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Low bar, but yes. Oh. <laughs> Uh, the the other thing is Andy shattered his stand with like ten minutes left. I was yeah. like, oh no, <laughs> that was, oh no, that was he has so no early time for him to just blow. Just, and it was, and he kept mentioning how fragile it was. Yeah. So I'm like, uh, how did like normally when I I'm lighter with things when I mention yeah yeah, yeah. Thing. I think yeah. it was just too in his head about it that like yeah it was like it's like you just yeah, you the know adrenaline you're so, of the moment. yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. like you're so stressed about something you hold it tighter and then it breaks yeah. Like you said, mice and men. Yeah. Um, okay. In line for Star Baker was Jill, even though she was last in the technical, and Sumaya, even though she came in last last week. That's one point apiece. Uh, the Star Baker this week was Jill. That's two points. And going home is Andy uh, with his big goon accent. Gonna miss yeah, him. Yeah, I know. Uh, very quickly, let's do our points breakdown for this episode. As a reminder, you can find our rules on our Instagram at TV Chef Fantasy League. Uh, carrying over from last week, Ilian cried last week. That's a half point. The technical challenge, Dylan came in first. That's a point and a half. Second place was Christian with one point. Third place was Nelly with a half point. In line for Star Baker was Jill and Sumaya with one point apiece. Our Star Baker was Jill with two points. Starting over and getting a half point apiece this week, we had Dylan, Ilian, Sumaya, Christian, Georgie, and Andy. Uh, Dylan gets a point for helping another baker, and Jill is the only one who verifiably dedicated uh, her bake to someone who has passed away. So yes. that is a half point there. So this week, I gain three points. Ooh. Iffy and Sierra, you each gain four and a half points. Okay. Every baker got points this week, so we all did okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Iffy, you are now the only person with three people left on your team. Okay. Because Andy was on mine. So you are, you've got more points. We know points. Andy was on mine. Uh, oh, right. Yes. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I had that backwards. Uh, so right now, our standings in last place is me with 20 points. In second place is Iffy with 21 points. No, barely. Sierra, you're in the lead with 23 points. Mm. Okay. Still very close. Still very close. close. Very close. This is going to be kind of a photo finish because we're now yeah. over the halfway point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is going to be... Interesting to see what happens next week. Folks, if you like this podcast, uh, first of all, please tell your friends. That would mean uh, the world to us. But also, please go to MaximumFun.org slash join. That is where you can support us for as little as $5 a month. It really helps us out. Thank you so much. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, please drop us a line on Instagram at TV Chef Fantasy League. Fan- at TV Chef Fantasy League, or send us an email at chef at maximumfun.org. Uh, tag us if you're doing your own leagues at home. For full unedited episodes, you can check us out on YouTube. Thanks again to my co host, Sierra Kato and Ify Wadiwe. We'll be back next week. TV Chef Fantasy League is a Maximum Fun production. Our producer is Valerie Moffat. Our theme song is by Dylan Van Auken. Follow us on Instagram and YouTube at TV Chef Fantasy League.